welcome back to another episode of Creative Writing Advice with me, JJ Barnes. If you don't know me, I'm JJ. I am the author of How to Write a Story, which is out now on Amazon, and you can get that. It takes you from the beginning of your story all the way through the midpoint to the end, covers everything in between, and then goes over editing and things like that. I wrote this to try and help bring more stories out into the world and help inspire writers who desperately want to tell a story, want to write, don't know how to start, maybe haven't felt confident enough, this is how I'm hoping that that I can help you. And that's also what I do here, I do it on YouTube, I also have a blog. Um, basically that is a lot of my motivation, is to help aspiring writers find their confidence to actually finally do it. However, and I say this every single Monday, uh, my Monday videos are a little bit different because I do my Ask Me Anything series. So this is where I get sent this. <laughs> well, I get sent this specifically. I get sent these and I put them in this. Um, <laughs> I say, ask me anything, basically. Um, I get questions that are really odd <laughs> sometimes. I get questions that are really genuinely interesting and challenge me and, and make me think and I get story craft, story craft questions and writing questions. Um, I try and do as many as I can in one video without going on for so long that you guys just want like me to shut up all the time. Um, I hope it's fun and entertaining and you know what? Um, I get I get sent so many questions and I have so many people talking to me about these videos and it makes me feel like I am doing something that you guys like and want me to do. Um, I always say, as soon as you want me not to do any more of these videos, then of course I will stop and go back to just doing what I do on the other days of the week, which is when I do just the traditional writing advice, the things that I set out originally to do. Um, but as long as you guys are having fun and like it and want me to keep doing this and keep sending me questions and keep being interested, then I'm going to keep doing these videos. So. This is my bag, these are my questions. I will pick them out at random, so some of them are older, some of them are newer. If you send in questions and I don't do them um, straight away, it's because I mix them all up. Um, I do them at random, basically, so that I don't know what's coming and you don't know what's coming and we'll find out together. So I will be answering these questions and let's see what happens, okay. All right, question number one. Uh, oof. Okay. What is something you never liked about yourself, other than your looks, that other people really like about you? I don't know if this is assuming that I don't like my looks and calling me a bit of a monster. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll try not to take it too personally. <laughs> um, what is something that other people like about me that I never liked about myself? That's a Oh man, um, if you've ever watched my video about um, imposter syndrome, you'll know that I have struggled with my um, confidence a lot, <laughs> and this really speaks to that. Um, I, I never liked a lot about myself, actually. Um, it always surprised me when people liked me. It surprised me when people wanted a relationship with me or a friendship with me, because I think I'm strange and off-putting. Um, something people really like about me that I don't. Um, like my personality, uh, my sense of humour. Um, I mean, I, I kind of stuck with those things because they are what they are, but I find them odd. Um, when people like me, generally, I'm never really sure why, because yeah, I, I think I'm weird. And a lot of people think I'm weird, actually. A lot of people don't get me at all, and you can see when I'm speaking to them that they just don't understand, and they get this glazed look. Like, oh god, she's odd. But, you know what? Some people respond to my particular brand of weirdness, and they really like it, so... I guess everything about me is... Is that an, is that an okay answer? Um... <laughs> God, that doesn't speak well for my self-confidence, does it? Um, <laughs> I'll just gloss over that one, Judith. It's fine. Okay. Oh, man. 
What is your favourite sexual position? None of your business, I think is the only answer to that one. Sorry, I do try to answer every single question, but sometimes, sometimes, I don't get one. Okay. <sighs> when did you last orgasm? Still none of your business. Lordy. Okay. Okay, this, thank you, is a question that I want to answer. Can you recommend a good book? I don't mind the genre. Now, write. Because you've sent this to someone who writes books. So, now, am I allowed to just do a bit of self-promotion here and be like, read one of my books? I mean, I suppose I am. It's my channel and my video and you've asked me about books. So, yes, I absolutely can recommend a good book. And if you don't mind about genre, well, let me start. Oh my god, I'm such a good salesperson. I'm like, well, let me tell you about my book. <laughs> well, you are old enough to be accessing the uh, Tinterwebs without grown-ups supervision, I presume. So I will not recommend my children's books or my YA books. I will recommend Emerald Wren and the Coven of Seven, written by me, um, about a little girl who is given a magic lamp. I said, like, it's not a children's book, it's a flashback. She is given a magic lamp by her grandfather and a promise that she will change the world. But then, when she's a grown-up, she is a crime-fighting witch leading a coven of witches who fight crime and stop bad guys. And she has to do what she has been told she will do. But because her best friend is in fact the genie in the lamp, what can she do? Will she use her wishes or will she save her friend? Is that a good sales pitch? I feel like I should be more polished on that, considering it's my book. <laughs> but that is the book I will recommend to you. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. What is your favourite fairy tale from childhood? Well, this is a kind of, it's massively affected because I'm now telling fairy tales to my children and they absolutely adore Little Red Riding Hood. They love Little Red Riding Hood so much so that my mom, um, she knitted them red capes with little buttons down the front, like little capes so they could play at being Red Riding Hood. So I'm going to say that's my favourite because I have real, like, I loved it as a kid because who doesn't love Red Riding Hood, right? But it's got, it's been really shaped by my, my children's love of it now. So, Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. What have we got? Control over gravity or friction? <laughs> That's such a funny question! Gravity! Um, gravity, I would like sometimes be able to fly and, and that would be fun. I have no desire to control friction. <laughs> but gravity, to be able to fly, that would be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. What's your favourite black and white movie? I remember my mom um, showing me Arsenic and Old Lace, and that was a lovely black and white movie. Um, I really liked, um, what's it called? American History X. That was a, I love Clerks by Kevin Smith. That's, I know that these are like modern black and white movies, but they're still black and white. Um, I'll go Clerks by Kevin Smith, just cause I have a really, a real fondness for that time in my life when I was like, a massive Kevin Smith fan. Um, it's probably not what you're looking for, you're probably looking for more classics, but you know what, you didn't specify, so I'm going with that. Okay. If you were forced to change all your names, what would you change them to? Ooh. Would be I would be Felicity 
von Humberstank. Hm. Felicity von Mieselton. Measles? Stank? None of these are good. I love the name Felicity, though. So I'd change it to Felicity something. I've always loved the name Felicity. Okay. What's your favourite band? Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. Depends on my mood. I mean, there's so many. I was brought up on Queen and the Beatles, and I love Queen. It might have to be Queen because there's just so many bands. I'm gonna go Queen because. Well, for one thing, they're one of the first ones that came to my mind, so that probably says something. Also, Freddie Mercury is, like, incredible, so why wouldn't you pick someone like that? And I love classic rock. I have a great time with classic rock. So I'll go Queen. Queen are my favourite band. Okay. What have we got? Do you prefer to ski or snowboard? No. No. I do not either. I would prefer a ski because at least I've got two legs that I can sort of balance. But I am not, I do not wish to do either of those things. I am very clumsy. I am very clumsy. And I don't like being cold. And I'm scared of heights. And I would, I would injure myself very badly. I do not, I do not wish to ski or snowboard, thank you. Okay. Do you play any instruments? Well, okay, so I've had lessons in flute, clarinet, piano, guitar, recorder, possibly something else, but I am not very musical. I do not play anything very well at all. I am not, I'm not musical. I love music. I listen to music all the time. When I'm working, I've always got my um, Amazon Music thing going. And when we cook dinner in the evening, we always, we take turns picking songs to listen to and things. Um, I love music, I just cannot play it or sing at all. I mean, honestly, it's, it's, it's quite impressive how unmusical I am, especially considering my partner is incredibly musical and plays like a thousand different instruments. I, I'm honestly, I'm shocking. Okay. Do you like any media, books, film or TV that is just written badly? This is like a guilty pleasures thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I love um, really goofy horror films that are just like genuinely terrible and I know they're terrible and I think the creators of them know they're terrible, right? But I love them because they still scare me and I have a lot of fun. I like being scared, um, but when they're really badly written, it's kind of scary in a way that isn't so scary that I'm traumatised. Like some films, right? Are so frightening that I'm I am proper messed up like I can't cope like the first time I saw the ring I was I swear I was having flashbacks I was I was broken I was having nightmares it really it just you know how sometimes like you're not necessarily sure why or what will get you but it, it proper sort of messes you up and affects you the ring broke me honestly I swear um so I made myself watch it a bunch more times because I didn't like that. I like to not, I like to be able to control myself. <laughs> so I watched it a whole load. Um, but yeah, I love genuinely, I love, I love, I love scary films that aren't really bad. <laughs> I watched one once where there was this big, like, um, rubber bug. And when it like attacked the woman, like she was squeezing it to make blue slimes <laughs> bit out over her. It was so bad. I loved it. I had the best time. Honestly, it was so funny. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do too many more because I've been going on for ages. How did you come up with the SSU? So the SSU is the Siren Stories universe and that is the world, the 
fictional universe that my books and Jonathan's books and things are all and other um, TV and things that we've got going on they're all set in the same universe so it's Siren Stories is the company that is um, the the business like umbrella that all of this stuff is like published and created so there's music and books and um, all sorts of stuff and like obviously this channel is under the Siren Stories like umbrella if you like and all of the work in that is set in the same fictional universe which is the Siren Stories universe the SSU and it it's what we needed for one thing everything had to be set in the same world so that everything was under the same law so that if there's vampires or monsters or witches you if you're reading a book from the SSU you know what what you're reading you know that you're getting that but it, like think of like on um, the MCU the Marvel you know who's going to be there you know what the lore is you know what powers there are and you grow it within that and Siren stories because when it first started we um, we had this big like discussion big meeting about what it was going to be called because we needed a company name and it came up with Siren stories because we need it was a story business like everything under that company that business is stories story focused so the music is all themes for different characters or films and the stories obviously and everything we do is story related and sirens because so much of it is magic I mean not everything but so much of it is magic and danger and there's always like women and girls having adventures who wanted something more female like associated so sirens felt like that like magical fictional um fantas fantastical uh, dangerous yeah so that's how that came about thank you for asking okay i'm gonna do one more because i don't want to go on for too long so hang on does your name have a meaning and what is it well my name um like obviously jj is my nickname and my sort of working name and I go by JJ more than I do my actual name which is Judith um, and Judith means woman of Judea <laughs> that's what it means uh, it wasn't um, picked for the meaning my mom named me um, because she had a lot of important people in her life um, and a couple of them were called Judith so I was named for my godmother and a couple of my mom's closest friends she had Judes and Judies and Judiths so she loved the name because it reminded her of the people she loved so that's how i got my name so thank you very much for another session of of questions um i hope that i, I hope that my answers were interesting and entertaining for you um i i always i always hope that what i'm doing is is what you guys want because i don't want to disappoint so thank you very much um wednesday and friday videos as always will be a writing advice one so if you subscribe to this channel you'll get a little notification if you put on the dinghy bell um telling when they're out it's monday wednesday and friday at 9 30 in the morning um also there's a whole back catalogue on here of writing advice videos all different styles some are for kids some are for grown-ups there's also stuff about our film that is in post right now and you can see interviews with the cast and some behind the scenes stuff um and yeah there's all sorts of things so come and have a look and hopefully yeah i can inspire you and help you become the writer that you've always wanted to be and yeah comment below if you have anything you want me to add to my little bag of questions i gave these so many and they just keep coming in so i'm hoping that what i'm doing is working um i want you guys to have fun so and now if you go to my website my website is jjbonds.co.uk over there you will find uh links to everything that i'm doing everything i've got going on um yeah come find me i'm on social media so you can come and chat and you can ask me questions there too um yeah, I think that's everything I need to say, so thank you very much, and I will be back again soon. Bye.